All right, what's good, everybody? It is your favorite host, Adrian Nice. Look who I'm here with, the next guest, and his name is? AJ Cloud, hottest rapper in Columbia right now, bro. I will say, I will say. AJ one. Cloud in the motherfucking building. Thank yes, you sir. for joining me on Miles yes, and Yo, man, good yes, to be sir. here, good to be here. Yo. So we are in Columbia. Yeah, facts, we in the Met, the 803. The Met. <laughs> the Met, the Met, that's right. Um, What is Columbia like for someone that's never been here? Oh man, um, definitely chill, mm. chill, um, laid back. You might, we're a big, it's a big campus town too. Like during, mm. yeah, definitely when school's in town, but like in between, <laughs> in between, it could, it could be really uh, turned up sometimes. Definitely really? during, during the season, during football season, anything like that. But uh, outside of that, you know, just as far as the music scene is, uh, it's lit, bro. There's so many hard rappers, shit, artists, R&B singers coming out of here, man. Like, crazy. I've met them all, and they're all fucking fire. <laughs> we got fire artists coming out of here. <laughs> so now, um, who are some, like, I guess, give me some names. Who are some names of some other shit. bubbling artists? Uh, my boy Stax. Uh, Stax. Two times. <laughs> right. Two times. Uh, DK Cartier. Um. He ain't dropped on anything yet, but trust me, y'all y'all be hearing about him, bro. Okay. For real. Um, my dude, Yamin, uh, he ain't <laughs> dropped neither, but, you know, both of them just got out of, you know, like, they just got out of prison in 10 years. So, mm -hmm. you know, they're right now they're taking music serious because, like, it's the perfect time for them to take serious. Um, shit, my dude, No Face, uh, he just dropped a fucking EP, bro. And uh, just met him at Take the Mic, though. It's shit that I showed you yeah. uh, the other day, man. Oh. So, so, right so even though like Chris Col Mohead, sorry. <laughs> so even though Columbia is not like an Atlanta or an LA type of vibe, yeah. um, y'all still have artists doing their thing, and y'all still have like showcases and all that stuff yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely, uh, we're definitely making something of our own. I feel like right. you know, like Charlotte, Atlanta, they all got their stuff. I've been to them. Yeah, I've seen you over there. <laughs> uh, they definitely have like a dope ass vibe, and I think that we're. We're coming up like just like all together. I, th I feel just to make you know like as a city, as you can see, like it's building every day. Something bigger, it's like right. you know, brick by brick, just something, just something's happening. We're definitely stirring up the pot. I right, 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 right. <laughs> what yeah. would you say it would take to put like Columbia on the map? Oh, shit, just like uh, shit, just like you know Drake did Toronto. It just takes one big artist, you know, right. and, and shit. And shit, in fact, that's shit. That's something I aspire to be. Uh, just being in here, that's why I'm so uh, supportive of just other artists around, man. Just because they're they're talented. Like mm -hmm. you can't, you can't hide bad like good music. You can't hide that shit. I, I almost said bad music. <laughs> you can't hide good music, man. Like that shit just speaks for itself, right? Man, you know, they gonna find volumes. you if your shit good. They are gonna find you. Speaks volumes, bro, for sure. And you yourself, how long you been doing? Uh, Music. music, just music. All right. Well, I've been writing probably uh, my entire life. I've been writing songs. Uh, you know, even like stupid songs. You know, you could show your friends and shit. Right. Uh, I used to have a song called "Do You in the Moonlight" and "Tits Rock," but we ain't even gonna talk <laughs> about that. We ain't gonna talk about that shit. Uh, but just like from there, I went into high school and people <laughs> just told me, you know, to join this rap group. And you know, you know how your friends start a rap group and shit. So yeah. I was like, all right, let me go ahead and join. And that's when I just started actually like putting my rhyme, like the gift I have of rhyming, into rapping and just flowing. And then it took on a life of its own after that. After that, I, I like I recorded myself at home. Drop some songs on SoundCloud, you know. <laughs> ain't no wrong sure. with SoundCloud. Ain't no, I'm just saying, everybody. No with... um, and they mama probably done dropped at least one song. Yeah. On SoundCloud. They got that hot shit. They got that hot right. shit on SoundCloud. Hot shit on SoundCloud, no lie. Do you remember the first song you recorded? Ooh, uh, it's actually maybe a. I did a remix to Unforgettable by Drake. Give us uh, a couple of bars. Oh yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. I can't go that far back. <laughs> is it is it still online or anything anywhere? Or anything? I want to say it's like in my Google Drive from <laughs> like from high school or some shit. Yeah, I think like that's that's the only. When you blow up, them the ones people gonna want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nah, 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 nah. 
<laughs> I was like, I was whispering so my parents ain't hear me. You know, I was I was in the closet. I was in the. I wouldn't say I was in the closet. I was in the other room. How did your parents feel about you rapping? Uh, super supportive. Or doing music, man. whatever. Yeah, they're super supportive. They, I think, now that because uh, I obviously I didn't tell them like right off the jump. I, I told them that I was gonna be like a songwriter to begin mm. with because everybody usually talks about my songwriting abilities. Um, but like as far as you know, like dropping music and doing videos and doing content and care and representing myself as just like an artist. Um, I think once I once they saw me like actually doing shit, like popping up, doing shows, getting like you know, getting good feedback, you know, from everybody I've met so far, that's when they really started to be like, Wow, mm -hmm. this is exactly what he should have been doing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you ever bring it up to them, like, back in the day to uh, where they could, I guess, help you or anything like that? Or were you more so kind of just, like, not? Well, in high didn't. school, I think it was what I was rapping about when I was in high school. Uh, and, uh, you know, like, coming up, that was that kind of, like, threw them off. Because it was kind of, like, I don't want to say it's what everybody else was doing because I always had my own style. But now I have, like, my own style, my own sound. And it's, like, definitely catching waves, I feel. Right. And so you just gotta. Um, well, before we get like deep into your music, I uh, just want to cover your background or whatever yeah, yeah, case yeah, may yeah, be. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, so you said they're super supportive. Yeah, they're super supportive. You got Mom. siblings? Yeah, my sisters. They they talk they talk about it every day. They're like, "Wow, you're actually like doing this shit." They're looking at my, <laughs> they're looking at the Instagram, going like, "Damn, yeah, that motherfucker doing that shit." Yeah, show them. Yeah, let yeah. it speak for itself. Show them yeah. for sure. Yeah, no, I send them. I send them everything. I send them uh, pictures. Shit, I even sent them demos, you know, like that we just recorded, like like I just played yeah. just now. I sent them demos just to catch their ear, just see if they like it. Any um, no misses. Any other people in your family musically inclined, whether it's just instruments or they've been in a band, they've did music, chorus, anything like that? Dang, wow! Now that I have time to think about it, um, I'm sorry to my folks uh, or anybody in my family if I get this wrong, <laughs> but no, no. <laughs> Right, you know, Dang, everybody's crazy. a listener. They're a music appreciator, mm. you know. So they like they've always put me on game, or they've always put me on somebody. Um, at least when I was growing up. Uh, so what made you just like, what flipped the switch to be like, okay, I can do this too? Um, uh, I think just natural ability, uh, and then just me, you know, uh, presenting myself in a moment or an opportunity where like I could show my talents my natural talents right and it just it literally just came out bro Lily just came out man like and took on a life of its own like we're right here right now right. like i don't even know when this shit started <laughs> i don't even know how this shit started bro it just like but now you are doing shows on mouthing out you know performing in front of people bro. getting getting looks in big studios like audio box audio box is a huge studio Facts. so majors have yeah. definitely been in there great state presence yeah in that studio for sure yeah. For sure, for sure. So look, we're about to go to commercial break. Um, so while we're on this commercial break, you know, grab, go grab your popcorn, do whatever you need to do, and we'll be right back after this. <laughs> ah! All right, we are back, back from commercial break. Yeah. Um, so music, what music do we have out right now? Uh, right now, I got three singles out and one music video with the song that's about to actually it might drop. Tomorrow on Friday. So you said um, three singles out in a music video. Yeah. That's about to drop or it's out? Uh, the music video's out already. Okay, so uh, let me let me talk about the three singles. I got I OK. Um, that's a single that's out. I got Oh My. Should have never got this high. And <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my newest one, When You Want It. Uh, it's a song when that I it. made with Stax and my boy Rizzy Ray. And uh, it's a banger it is a banger not the other ones that ain't, not that they ain't other bangers right but this is one this is one for the bitches to ride out to you know throw their ass up and shit <laughs> too so for the ladies just, yeah that's the one i'm really uh promoting right now i wouldn't even say like i'm just promoting all the songs i can because so I, how can you tell if one's like a hit versus the other one i guess honestly i, I believe that they're all hits i got you but what would make <laughs> what would make you want to push this one more and put more resources into this one over this one. I would say the the production and mm -hmm. uh, who I have behind it. 
because mm -hmm. I got my boys Stacks and Rizzy behind it. So it's uh like the other the other beats I hit are with ninety eight. Shout out Rigo by the way. The uh, he all the way out in California and stuff, but nothing against like you know pushing those songs or whatever. I just know like the the those are my guys right there, and I you know I, I just want to see us get this get this <laughs> money. Bro. Right, right, this right. Shit. So uh, the one that you feel like you're gonna be pushing harder, what's the name of the track one more time? Well, when you want it. When you want it. Yeah. When you want. And so it. this is for the ladies. This is for the ladies. Yeah. The ass shakers. Is that ass what you shakers. said? It's, the, it's some <laughs> ass shaking stuff, but it's also like big sound, like mm. a like like a club song, a club song that you that could gonna, play yeah. anywhere. Like you could play it in Miami, you could play it in fucking Europe or some shit right. like that. Somebody told me like, "Yo, this will ride in Europe." <laughs> That's dope. I was like, no way. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. That's yo, yeah. yeah. That's dope. It's facts. Yeah. So, Give, uh, what is it about? Like, uh, it's about uh bad bitches that own themselves. You know, like, shit. They, I don't know how to say. It. They own themselves. They carry themselves a certain way. They move a certain way. Uh, and yeah, and, and they're bad. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> they're bad as fuck. Right. Uh, and so we're gonna shoot a video to this, right? Uh, yeah, shooting a video pretty soon. Um, I got a video out to the song called My World right now. And uh, honestly, it's my my friend Stack's favorite song. The My right World now. one? My World. It's, uh, it's a little bit more realer. It shows a different mm. side of me that uh, I've been wanting to share with people. Because, you know, like, you know, you don't want to show vulnerability sometimes. But that song is a complete, you know, like, it's, it's a complete just opening just within myself that right. you know I just that I'm, I'm that I'm letting people see and uh we shot the video for it on some like surprise shit like new blaze shout out new blaze and radical Inability. by the way um they hit me up one friday and I was just like I was kicking it at a restaurant or something like that like uh, I don't know trying to do some boss shit <laughs> that's what's going on in the video uh no no oh, actually, when no. they hit you up they hit just, me up <laughs> they hit me up on some yo you want to shoot a video type shit we're gonna go to this film studio and I was Ooh. like okay so like professional shit, yeah, yeah pop yeah. star shit rock star shit so I, I went with it and like uh I don't want to say new blaze I'm sorry I was skeptical at first <laughs> <laughs> but they got me good and it was a great experience and for the song my world a song that just means so much to me. Just doing the video and getting it done, it just oh, it felt so good. Um, yeah, it just it, it felt. And so the uh, the new video that you're about to shoot, what's kind of the concept for that? The when you want it. Yep. Oh, man, um, we're just gonna have like bad girls. Bad girls, I guess. Uh, just Do we have, have a concept. Having a good time, really. No, no concept right now. I got more of a concept for my song that hasn't dropped yet called "Let Me Talk." Uh, it's when I talk my shit, pop my right. shit. Uh, I performed it like I performed it since April fifth, I think, or April tenth. And that was a song you were performing at the video. Yeah, yeah. Show. I performed okay. it a lot, actually, like what, just to you know get people's ear. What's been the reaction to it? <laughs> nothing but good, nothing but lit shit. Everybody, everybody loves it, man. And they're all like, "Hey!" Like I feel like they didn't expect. That kind of song from just like uh, I guess a, a guy, an artist like me, mm -hmm. and when they hear it, the let me talk my shit, I, <laughs> they're just like they like there's a head turner. They're like, yo, like, <laughs> who is this guy? Right. And then I get into the verse and like I pop my shit, pop my shit, talk my shit like I do, and it just oh man, it just uh, it gets the crowd hype because uh, I used to uh, when I started out doing the shows, they had me as the opening act. And I felt like that was the the perfect moment for you know to talk my shit, set the tone set the of tone. the night. Yeah, right, people right. would come up to me after and be like, "Yo, you fucking set the tone, man!" Like that shit was lit, and everybody was lit after that. And <laughs> I was like, "Shit!" I was like, "I appreciate that." So you're independent right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have like management or any anybody like helping you out? Besides my boys Stacks and Rizzy, it's uh, it's really just me. I'm in um. And I, uh, I do, I did start a record label. That's really what got me, uh, you know, just to called? represent myself. Uh, much better records. Much better records. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I'm LLC now, baby. I'm hey, LLC official. Now. I'm official. Yeah, official yeah, yeah, with yeah, it, for sure. sure. Uh, just, I knew I had to do that just to represent myself, just like as an artist independently. And uh, I knew, it's not that I don't want help at all. I just, you know, I want the right kind of help. Right. Uh, I wanted somebody I could trust and just someone that they understands me and uh, how I work. 
just like my boys, Stax and Rizzy. <laughs> so you are still looking to get signed, though, or are you trying to like just independent it out? Oh, man. Uh, if the opportunity is there, I mean, obviously, and it feels right and it feels good, that, um, of course, yeah. Um, obviously, you know, the biggest thing in uh, music is money. <laughs> right. So that's a fact. You either have it or you don't, or you <laughs> can go out and get it. Right. Um, and just like that, that I feel like. Because, you know, I'm bread stacking, grinding as much as I can, going out to taking every opportunity I could get. And, um, and I, you know, I just feel like we're not like we're not like a like a sign or a song away from being big or anything like that. Because we're, we're, we're I'm already. I mean, that's all it wave. takes. Yeah, One song, that's song. really all it takes. But like, I, I don't know, this wave that I'm making right now is feels so uh, it just feels like. I guess I wouldn't need that kind of uh, label or thing. It's like that. I, mean, I don't know. What do you? I feel, don't know yet. Yeah. Do you see. feel like you're missing anything right now? Mm. Where you are at right now? Like, what do you feel like you would need to kind of just take you to the next level? I need these songs to drop. <laughs> <laughs> so we need some songs. Yeah, we need. Okay. Let me talk. Video when you want it. Videos. Uh, so we need songs. We need videos. Yeah. So build on our catalog. We yeah. need the visuals. What yeah. else? Uh, visuals catalog. Um, honestly, just connecting with my fans more. Okay. Uh, connecting with just the people, the Met uh, people. So like in building a fan base. Is that Car- what you call Carolinas? that? Carolinas, yeah. Because I'm, uh, I'm just like I'm really just starting out. Like I said, like a month and a half ago, started taking myself to the shit. studio. Right. Yeah, I know, right? Taking myself to the studio and shit, and uh, dropping songs, dropping content, and just like definitely, I'm definitely all in for sure. Good. Yeah, as yeah. long as you all in, as long as you're willing to put the work in, the rest is just gonna come to you, man. Yeah, thanks. That's, you know what yeah, I'm saying? That's what even I believe. yeah, like even if you are early in, like it's just trial and error. Then, but also educating yourself thanks. in the music industry how it goes, yeah. and paying attention to what happens when you do go to these places like the studio, the networking events, like yeah. you know who's in the room, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. How ah. you feel about yourself, your music? My What's music about right to now? come? Bro, I just feel like all the shit I be that I've been saying about how uh, I am wearing my shirt, but uh, I got this shirt called the next big thing, and uh, that's what I feel like I I am. Uh, that's what I feel like me and the people from the Met, South Carolina in general, Carolina in general, we're the next big thing. Mm. Um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of artists coming out of here. Uh, shout out Rose up too. Mm. <laughs> uh, Shit, just a lot of artists coming out of here, and then um, you know, I just feel like, like I said, you know, you just need that one, one to break through the, break through the door, break through the seal, and then everybody else open the gate. They yeah. they just know exactly what to do. Right. Yeah. So. Um, All right. So look, we're gonna take our final commercial break. We'll be right back after this to talk a little more about what my boys got going on. Yes, sir. All right. We'll be back. <laughs> ah. All right, we are back from our final commercial break. Um, the question I wanted to ask is, how would you describe your sound? Because, you know, yeah, first, how would you describe yourself? Man, that's a tough question. It's just, like, big, like, just sonically, like, big, I guess. Like, uh, I did play it for you. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely, like, like bopish. And like I don't know, like upbeat, upbeat <laughs> Up- vibes, yeah, I got you. upbeat <laughs> vibes, and like, like I said, just like big sound. Like my voice is just completely like layered to like, like we'll probably do maybe three, five takes, mm. and we'll just mix it all, harmonize it all together. I heard that's how Michael Jackson records, and um, and that's that shit. That's how I do it, man. Like, I don't know if that really says a lot about my sound. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 sonically big, big. you know, it's big. Just, I'm, you, I'm sure you got your personality and your vibes into it, yeah. and uh, you know, it's something you can bop to, yeah. type shit, move right. to, all that smoke stuff. to, definitely yeah. smoke to. Somebody <laughs> told me the other day, yeah, smoking to your shit is a vibe, bro. It is a vibe. Uh, what do you hope to accomplish while you are pursuing your music uh, goals, endeavors, all of it? Man, um. Well, besides being a big boss, you know, <laughs> uh, being big boss CEO type shit, CFO type shit, uh, just taking care of my family and uh, my friends. 
um, and anybody that's came along my way that, you know, that has been real enough with me and been there for me, hmm. take care of them the best way I can. Do you think you'll stay in Colombia? We'll see. We'll <laughs> see. I would like to have a house down here and, you know, like, of course, be known for having, you know, the crib down here in Colombia. Like I said, is is we're growing every day, so you never know how big we're going to be. Um, so you never know if I like end up back here, but I also want to pop up in California. You know, I feel like, uh, I heard some people actually like hit me up from there saying that they like my music and Mm. shit. And even people, you know, like, uh, in the Northeast side and shit like that, Texas. (laughs) So yeah, definitely pop it out anywhere. Like I wouldn't say I'm staying anywhere, but I definitely would. uh, So we're going to continue to reside in Columbia, but we're (laughs) going to be moving and doing whatever we need to do yeah. to uh, make it anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, basically. So now what if a label's like, okay, you sign to us, boom, you get a nice-ass check, deal's right, but you need to move out here yeah. for shit to make it happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, nah, I get that. Um, As long as I get to work with the people that uh, I'm working with. Oh, yeah. As long as I get to work with the people that I'm working with right now, mm-hmm. uh, Rizzy and Stax, as long as they're there. So they like, need to be included in the deal. Yeah. For real, they need to be flown out with me. <laughs> okay, uh, and they also need to be compensated as well. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's everybody or nothing type for shit. Real. Yeah. For that's real. Good. I really, yeah. I think that's how it should be. You know. See, they're your man's reason. is loyal. Your man's is look. <laughs> they're, the re- they're the reason why I'm here, man. Shout out Yamin too. I'm bringing Yamin with me in too. the build. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So now is everybody signed to your label or is everybody a part of the label type of thing? Uh, how does that work? Let's see. Stax and Rizzy really got their own businesses going on. Okay. But like as far as or you know, just ha- you, so having my own label, yeah, it's just me. Uh, like I said, it's growing every day. You know, I'm willing to, as long as the funds are there, everything right. seems right. Uh, I'm willing to actually have artists. And I've been talking to mostly R&B singers for some reason. <laughs> I just well, keep on meeting these female R and B singers that they're so into what I'm doing and they, and that. Well, that's like, kind of why I was asking you, like, how do you uh, describe your sound? Because you know, it's not necessarily like boom bap rap yeah, bars. Yeah. I'm sure you might have music like that, yeah. but it's more like the melodic type yeah. of vibes or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, but it, yeah. but it's not like your R and B singing either. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm no, right. It's, so all the, yeah, like it's, it's it's different. It's uh, it's definitely what. I think this new wave of music is right now. Um, it like sonically, it's just you know, like I always say, just big sounding. It's big, like you could you could have it in the car, and there's just echoes on echoes right. of just vocals, beats, um, just like like trippy shit, almost like you know, mm-hmm. like some trippy shit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I, I love my R and B girls. I love my <laughs> R and B girls, bro. Facts. So you think that'll be the first type of artist that you sign? Uh. Yeah, well, shit. I, yeah, I would think so. Yeah. <laughs> they just keep coming around. Yeah, yeah, they keep on coming around. I mean, I'm getting everybody rapping too, and uh, you know, who knows? They they might just be like, because people have told me that you know, since I got the label, they're like, oh, much better records. That sounds hard as fuck. No, it does. Yeah. That's a great name. Yeah, hey, so they'd be like, that they'd be like, I, I I think I might fuck with it. I think I might fuck with it, but like obviously, I just I gotta grow more as. As a business, as an artist, right. I think uh, education's key, yeah, bro. I'm trying yeah, to tell you. That's, uh, Don't matter if you go to college, wherever. Just education, educate your mind in general. Never stop learning. Whatever you're power. doing, you got to study the game to be in the game. Facts, facts, for sure. Yeah, definitely watch. Take over the game. Excuse watching me. a million dollars worth of game, whatever they call it. Right, right. <laughs> watching it every day. Right, yeah. right. Big facts because they're giving it up. Yeah, they're giving it up. Um, so what's next for you, bro? I know you got um some singles coming, but like any other shows, any other major uh, things that you want to talk about? Anything uh, I missed? Damn, I got a show. Uh, well, then this is uh, this is gonna drop after, but I definitely got shows on shows on shows. Uh, everything's kind of been last minute, just like <laughs> just like us linking up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, we wait. made it happen though. <laughs> yeah, we made it happen. That's that's the thing. I'm uh, even though it's last minute, still making it happen. Right. Um. Let's see. This far. I mean, I like. I think. I think I might have a tape, actually, uh, coming out uh, nice. by my birthday in uh, July. Nice um, summertime. Yeah, definitely summertime, or at least an EP or something. And I'm definitely gonna have a lot of people that I've met along this way of just rapping, and people I've met at the showcases featured on it as well, because um, they all they always hit me up to work, man. <laughs> and and, I, and I'm a working motherfucker, so like. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm down to do like a tape. I'm down to do 
any show, any 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 kind of video, definitely uh definitely pushing music. <laughs> Fire. Music first for sure. All right, so before we go, I do have this last segment called One Piece of Advice. Okay. So first, uh give one piece of advice to the people in the Met. People in the Met, man. If uh, if you out here grinding, doing the music shit, not even just doing the music, just doing your own thing, just uh Make make it an everyday thing, you know. Don't take any breaks, uh, man. It's obviously good to get rest, like much needed rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, just because you rest, don't mean that you're quitting. Uh, mm. Yeah, just just make sure that you're staying like that. on it, staying focused. And um, and if and if you have something that you want to pursue and you don't feel like you're ready for it, you're as ready as you can be. Just mm. yeah, just take that leap of faith, and you'll. Like you said, you you learn things as you go. You learn things as you experience, and that's that's what it took for me, man. I was I was just I always wanted to do music. I always wanted to drop music, and then you know I just I took this leap where you know I, I stopped everything I was doing at that time that was keeping me from doing this shit right here, and um, it's made all the differences. Honestly, it's changed my life. All right, now give one piece of advice to your two homies. To my two homies. Yeah. To my two homies, bruh. Be you, man. Continue to be yourselves, man. Cause everybody, like everybody, loves you for who you are, man. Uh, yeah, for sure. I'm trying to think of something else I could say. <laughs> nah, that's cool. Be you. Yeah, that's be solid. You. Yeah. That's valid. That's yeah. valid. Yeah. Um, okay. Give one piece of advice to the future you. To the future me. The future you. Maybe let's say five years down from today. Give one piece of advice to that guy. Uh, However you envision him, whatever you're doing at that time, what do you you envision yourself doing at that time? One piece of advice to that guy. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get this twisted future me, but don't forget where you came from. Don't mm. forget who you came up with. Mm. Don't forget uh, the people like that, that you've met along this like way that. that's made the difference for you. And uh, just make sure that you take care of your people like you've been doing. Like right. you've been doing. Yeah. All right. It just got real for a second, man. <laughs> That's what we real. want. I was like, yo, I was like all vibing out, and then it just got serious. That's what we want. That's what we want, that deep shit. We really want to know. Like, yeah. we want to know who you are, what you're thinking, man. Um, so, look, yes. before we go, uh, give them your social media. Yeah, yeah. Spell it one more time. Let's make sure they can find <laughs> I know you. it's complicated a little bit. And but, then uh, uh, any last words okay. after you give your social media? All right, cool. Uh, tell y'all a little bit more about myself. Like, uh, I'm J Cloud. A lot of people call me J Cloud. It's called J Cloud Coming Up. So um, my na my stage name AJ Cloud always came from people always saying Hey, J Cloud. <laughs> oh. So um, I mean J Cloud's based off my name, uh, John Alexander McLeod. <laughs> so it's like yeah. kind of mixed the whole J Cloud. I thought it was gonna be J Cole, <laughs> but I decided to mix the name up the way it is right now. But it's spelled uh, AJ Cloud is a A Y E, J A Y C L O U D with another D at the end. I'm a double D in it. Right for sure, baby. Any, any final words? Any last words you want to tell the people before we leave? Or, or you think we covered everything uh, for now? Yeah, my world. The music video is out go. right now. Um, I'm shirtless with my hair down, so check it out. <laughs> go run it up, run it up, Look. run that shit up. Look, thank y'all for tapping in. Thank you for tapping in. I'm your host, Adrian Nice. This is Malvin out. Shout out to Columbia, South Carolina, and we out. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh.